Serotonin is famous for being the happy brain chemical, but can you leverage it to lose weight? Your body makes serotonin from something called 5-HTP, which it makes from the amino acid tryptophan. Only a small percentage of your body's serotonin is in your brain, but it's a massive player up there, affecting mood, memory, and learning. In the study we're looking at today, the researchers wanted to see if taking 5-HTP supplements could also help with weight loss. Let's look at what they did and see if this stuff works. They took 28 women with obesity, which they defined as body mass index of 30 to 40, and who ate more calories per day than they needed based on their sex, age, and activity level. They were randomized to take 5-HTP or placebo capsules for 12 weeks. The 5-HTP was dosed as 300 milligrams three times daily and was taken 30 minutes before each meal. For the first six weeks, they had no dietary restrictions, and for the last six weeks, they recommended a 1,200-calorie diet. Subjects weighed their food and kept food diaries so the researchers could estimate caloric intake. Every two weeks, they collected this data, measured subjects' weight, investigated changes in eating behavior, and checked for side effects. The methods in this study seemed pretty thoughtful. It would have been nice if it was a bit bigger. You'll see why as we talk about the results. The 5-HTP group lost a significant amount of weight, about 5% of their weight over the 12 weeks, while the placebo group had no significant change. This is probably because nearly 100% of the 5-HTP group reported feeling full earlier, and they lowered their calorie intake significantly both in the first six weeks and last six weeks of the study. In the first six weeks, they reduced their carbohydrate intake by 50% and reduced it even more during the second half of the study. The placebo group didn't have any statistically significant changes in calorie or macronutrient intake. So the weight loss bit seemed to work, but were there side effects? In the first six weeks, 80% of the 5-HTP group reported feeling nausea. This decreased to 20% in the last six weeks, but that is a pretty unpleasant side effect. They didn't find differences in other side effects between the groups, but it looked like the 5-HTP group had a bit more of everything they measured. These differences might have been statistically significant if the study was a little bigger. Medications and supplements that affect serotonin have lots of interactions and are not safe for everyone. We'll link some third-party verified products in the description, but check with your doctor to make sure it's safe for you first. As always, link to the study is in the description. Hit the like button if you learned anything today, and subscribe if you like learning about supplements, health, and research.